now that we've resized our image the next thing i'm going to do right now is save this image so how do you save your image i don't know i'm going to show you how i save my image and still have that sharp image after uploading it on instagram and facebook so all you have to do is click on ctrl shift alternate s jpeg and your quality can be from 75 to 80 don't put it on 90 or 100 if it's on if your quality is on 90 or 100 your image will be too sharp and it's not going to be looking good make sure your blur is on zero and your quality is on 75 or 80 hi everyone today here welcome back to another amazing video in this video i'm going to be doing the final retouching for this image right here i'm going to be doing color grading for this image and also how to export image to make it look sharp for instagram or for facebook and i have a part one for this video i also have a part two for this video so in the part one let me just show you where we started from let me just turn all the layer off so you can see where we started from and where we are right now for the part one i did my frequency separation and i also even out the skin tone like this and for the part two i did my dodge and burn and i also did my eyes and teeth whitening like this and um, i also added contrast to this image using black and white adjustment layer so this is our overall before and after this is where we started from and um this is where we are right now so the first two i'll use if i want to do my color grading is my selective color adjustment layer right here so i'll just click on my selective color adjustment layer and let me explain what color grading is really all about there is no perfect way to color grade an image color grading is just what you want like the kind of feel you want your image to look like and there is no perfect way to color grade your image so just play with your sliders and see whichever works best for the image you are color grading so there is no perfect color grading i'll keep saying that the way i learn how to color grade image i always have a mood board so i'll just go online either instagram and just look for a picture which i want to recreate the kind of color grading on that picture and try to adjust my color grading sliders and try to use different color grading tools to get that kind of color grading so that's how i learned how to use color grading and if you want to really learn how to use color grading go online look for a mood board look for the kind of color grading you want to do and just play with your color grading tool with that being said now the kind of feel i want this image to look like i want it to have that orange feel so i want the image to look kind of orange so and to make the image look kind of orange i have to get rid of the yellows in the image and to get rid of the yellows once my selective color is turned on i'll just reduce my blacks so i'll take bring my blacks all the way to minus 20. this is just a guide to teach you how to color grade you don't have to follow this step but this is just a guide so i'll bring my black to 20 and i'll bring my yellows to about let's say 10. so since i'm getting rid of the yellows i'm going to take the yellows out of the reds because skin too consists of mainly yellow and reds so i just remove yellows from the reds and um add a little bit of magenta since i want to go for that orange feel so i just add a little bit of magenta i think i'll add a little bit of three and for my cyan i'll add a little bit of cyan to this image if i add a little bit of cyan you can see the image is looking red and i don't want it to be too red but th this kind of feel i'm going for for this image but i'll just bring my cyan all the way to 15 like this and i'll come to my yellows i'll add blacks to my yellows like this you can see the image is kind of is getting that orange feel which i want and for my yellows for the yellows in the yellows i'll remove the yellows let's say to minus minus 10 is okay like i said there's no perfect way to color grade so just play with the sliders make a mistake and correct yourself so there's no perfect way nobody is perfect this is just a guide and for the magenta i think i'll i'll just leave the magenta or i'll leave the magenta to zero i don't want to touch the magenta or the yellows and for the cyan i'm just going to remove cyan from the yellows to minus 12 like this for the reds i made a mistake i said i added cyans but i removed cyan so my cyan is minus minus 15 for the red so i just want to get that out of the way so let's see our before and after this is our before you can see that it's looking kind of yellowish and this is our after i'm getting that uh, feel which i like that orange feel which i want this image to look like and if i feel it's too much i'll just reduce my opacity like this 
and also your calibrator also matters so what you might be seeing on your laptop will not be what you see on your phone so just save your image on your mobile and makes bring it back to photoshop and adjust make basic adjustment until you get what you are looking for so that's another tip if you've learned anything from this video so far make sure to hit on that like button so that more people can see this video and they can also learn from this video and let me know in the comment section what you've learned from this video so far next thing i'm going to do i think i'm getting what i want i'll just come to my hue and saturation adjustment layer and i'll come to my reds and just play with the hues on the reds and see what will happen so let me bring it all the way to this side to minus three okay minus two is okay i think i like it like this and i'll come to my yellows also i'll play with the hues on the yellows let's see okay minus five is okay i think i like it like this now let's see our before and after so these are before and these are after you can see just the sub two difference so i think i have gotten the kind of color grading i'm looking for right now i'm just going to add a little bit of vibrance to this image so i'll come to my vibrance i'll add a little bit of vibrance to this image like this and i like it like this I'm just going to group all the adjustments i just made for my color grading in a group by holding click on this first one by and holding shift on the last one or hold control and click on them one after the other so after that i'll click on ctrl g to group so once i group then you can decide to reduce the opacity if you want so let, so let me just reduce this opacity and see how the image is looking if i like it okay i think i'll leave the opacity to 90 90 is okay and once i'm done i'll add a layer mask to this group which i just created because i want to remove those feel from the hair a little bit i want the hair to look dark so I'll just add, so I'll just add a layer mask to that group, and I'll pick my black brush, come to my normal brush, make sure my foreground color is on black. I'll make sure my flow is on, let's say, 40. Make sure my flow is on 40, and just increase my brush size like this, and just paint on the hair, and remove those color grading from those areas, like that. And to see your before and after, hold shift and click on your layer mask to see your before and after. So these are before. And um, this is our after. You can see it's not looking reddish again. Next I'm going to do, I'm going to sharpen the eyes for this image. And to sharpen the eyes, all you have to do is come to your retouching academy. Still, if you don't have this retouching academy, send me an email. I'll leave my email in the description below and I'll send this software to you. Or rather, I'll send this extension to you because i use retouching academy to retouch my image in this channel so if you really want to watch this channel make sure you have this retouching academy so you can practice along so this is my sharpness right here so i just click on sharpness so this is sharpness in retouching academy this triangle right here is sharpness so just click on it and it's going to add sharpness to your image so you can see it has added sharpness to this image so these are before and these are after but i just want the sharpness to affect only the eyes and to do that i'll come to my mask my layer mask so i'll just invert the layer mask by clicking on ctrl i to invert so once i invert it i'll just pick my normal brush bring back my flow to 100 and make sure my foreground color is on white by clicking x to tangle between white and black or this icon right here to change between white and black so i want my foreground color to be on white right now so i'll pick my normal brush too I'll just brush only on the eyes like this because I just want to sharpen only the eyes and I'll do the same for these other eyes like this now let's see our before and after so these are before and these are after you can see the eyes are looking sharp right now and also this image is sharp already but I just want to add a little bit of sharpness just a little bit of sharpness to this image so I'll, I'll come to my sharpness again I'll click on sharpness this is the before and this is the after but i don't want it to be too sharp like this because it's too sharp like this so i'll just reduce the opacity to 10 percent 10 percent so i'll reduce the opacity to 10 and now let's see the before and the after there's no much difference so that's how i like my image so next i'm going to i'm going to add digital noise to this image so i come to my this one is optional you the sharpness also is optional you can decide to add it and you can decide not to add it depends on your image but i like adding um digital noise to my image and i have an action for that so i just come to my actions and i'll click on noise 
and I'll just reduce the opacity to about 10 as well to add a little bit of digital noise to this image and you cannot really tell the difference but it's there this is the before and this is the after so right now next I'm going to do I'm going to add a little bit of brightness to this image just a little bit of brightness to this image with my curves adjustment layer so I'll come to my curves adjustment layer the, under this default I'll just click on it and I'll just see lighter RGB I'll click on lighter RGB to add a little bit of brightness to this image like this so this is the before and this is the after so I'll just reduce the opacity because I feel it's too bright right now so I'll just reduce the opacity to about 30 30 is okay now this is the before and this is the after so after you've done all that the next thing I'm, I'm going to resize this image so this is how you get sharp image if you upload to Facebook I'm just going to resize this image right now so to resize this image I'm going to click on Control alternate I and it's going to show me image size or you can come to your image and you can come to image size I usually use 8 or 9 but recently I started using 9 but you can use 8 or 9 so just change your width to 9 so if you change your width to 9 your height automatically change so if I change my width to 10 right now you can see the height automatically change but I just want to put my width to 9 and the height will be on 11 so once you're done you click ok now that we've resized our image the next thing I'm going to do right now is save this image so how do you save your image I don't know I'm going to show you how I save my image and still have that sharp image after uploading it on Instagram and Facebook so all you have to do is click on Ctrl Shift Alternate S or let me cancel this you come to your fair you come to your export and you come to save for web so this is this save for web so just click on save for web and it's going to bring you back to this place right here make sure you are on jpeg and your quality can be from 75 to 80 don't put it on 90 or 100 if it's on if your quality is on 90 or 100 your image will be too sharp and it's not going to be looking good make sure your blur is on zero and your quality is on 75 or 80. I advise your quality should be on 75 because that is what I use. Make sure your optimize is checked and your enable color profile is checked. And make sure your convert to sRGB is checked. And also make sure your quality is on bare cubic. So if your quality right there is not on bare cubic, make sure you change it to bare cubic. And this is your image size. You already resize your image. So once you are done, just click on save. And choose for a place which you want to save your image right I'm going to save my on my download so I'm just going to click on save and it's going to save to my download and I'm done so this is how you retouch your image and this is how you save your image for web to get that sharp look in Photoshop I hope you enjoyed this video and if you do like this video and let me know in the comment section I'll see you guys in my next video stay creative